Should colleges be more like grade schools or like trade schools? A major state university wants to ditch liberal arts for something more practical. The University of Wisconsin at Stevens Point has proposed dropping dozens of programs like English, philosophy, and history in favor of majors that instead focus on acquiring actual job skills, stuff like chemical and environmental engineering, finance, and computer IT. So, is the push to make colleges more like vocational schools the right one? Joining me now, Associate Professor of Economics at the King's College, Brian Brenberg. Brian, thanks for joining us. Good to be here. Look, is Wisconsin making a wise choice here? This is they want practical skills. Yeah, but they're, they're fixing the problem the wrong way. Look, employers have said for a long time, we think college graduates don't have the kind of skills that we need. They can't read well. They can't write well. They can't speak well. They're not good at critical thinking. We want that to change. And so colleges are looking at this and saying, well, what should we do about that? And their answer is, well, let's move more toward trade programs. Yeah. That's not the problem. The problem is the education they're getting in things like English and philosophy. They have professors who aren't challenging them to think. They're not creating a space where students can get these skills yeah. in reading well and writing well. And instead, they're just getting ideology, left-wing, anti-market ideology. Well, gee, it's no surprise that students who are getting that ideology in college are going into the marketplace and turning out not to be good workers. The problem isn't, tr isn't getting a trade degree. It's getting a bad education, period, no matter what you're studying in college. Well, not everyone can go to your college, the King's College, right? <laughs> it's too bad. But, look, they have... People want to improve the schools, right? People are afraid they're turning them into left-wing factories of ideology. And that's true in a lot of cases. But how do, we, how do you battle that? They, they're holding that ground. How, you can't make the, the education establishment stop doing what they're doing, can no, you? No, but you can help expand the establishment or get new universities and college in, into the system. One of the problems we have is it's very, very, very hard to start a new educational institution because these accreditation bodies, which are sort of quasi-run by the federal government, are very hard to get approval from to start a new college, to start a new educational program. Let's make that easier. Let's create more competition so that the old government universities that are going left wing have a little bit of competition. The problem right now is nobody wants to do that. All the federal loan programs are biased against new colleges, new universities. Competition helps in these situations. We don't allow competition to happen at the higher ed level. But philosophy? Do, do businesses really want, do they want <laughs> yes, people who they, know philosophy? Yes, How does that do. help you in business? Philosophy is, it's a great way to prepare for the a, a rapidly changing marketplace. Look, all the trade skills that you're going to get today, 10 years from now, are going to be outdated. But if you've got a degree that teaches you to think well, to solve problems, to articulate your thoughts, you can apply those skills in a lot of areas, and employers love it. Philosophy should be a great preparation for the marketplace, but not if you teach it as a bunch of dogma, not if it's a place where you can't explore ideas and debate and have open dialogue. If you can't do that, you're right. It's worthless. Yeah. But that's not what philosophy is. We've just turned it into that at the college level. Can, what can we do about the stu student? They're, they're in debt. Okay, they come yes, out into the marketplace yeah. and they, they're loaded with debt. Yeah. You can get a good education with less cost, yes. can't you? Don't send your kid to a college that's all about creating palatial dorms and, you know, uh, student unions with water slides and pinball machines and they all this that, other stuff. They love it, but that's a waste of your money. If you want to ride a water slide, go to the theme park. But if you want to get an education, go to a place with great teachers. This is the problem is parents are allowing students to choose schools for the wrong reasons. There are schools out there that actually focus on what happens in the classroom and give students skills they need to be in the marketplace. That's what you've got to pick. That's the only answer. It's not going to change if you keep sending your kids to the same old places that are doing the wrong things. Yeah, they, you know, they have these legacy schools. People, they, want it. it's they, want the, they want the Ivy. They, they want, they the want to Ivy. watch their football team. Great. You can, yeah. you can love the football team, but ask yourself, is your kid going to get a great education there? Answer, probably not. Thank you, Brian. You bet.